until we get to adult link, of course. So get used to it. Back in Kakariko Village, um, we just have one more Skulltula to get, and we can play the Sun Song. Yay, we don't have to wait for night or day anymore. It's awesome, we can just control that. So, just head all the way to the other side, and there'll be a gold sculpture behind this building, or technically on the side, because of the door placement. But, that's the last thing, and then we can play the sun song, and then get a bunch of chickens for a bottle. Doesn't really seem worth it, but still good to have. Okay, the first chicken you want to get is straight ahead, and... Now you want to make your way up this ramp and jump over to the... This is an area you can't get to without using a chicken to jump because a chicken allows you to hover for a long period of time. So there are actually two other chickens. I'm going to call them chickens, not cocos or however they call it. Just because it's easier for me. Um, the second one is up the ladder. And on top of this, this one's really kind of fun to get, because after you get it, you can just glide pretty much all the way to where you need to put it. Um, and just throw it back inside the pen, and once you gather all the chickens, uh, she gives you a bottle. A pretty good reward, I guess. Having two fairies is always better than one. Once you find that third one that we threw over the fence, um, we can go grab the one inside the box, which has always been the hardest one to find for me. Boom. Kind of hard to grab. Maybe I should have Z-targeted. Oh well. Uh, you're gonna go up the ramps and use this one to get to the other one. Uh, because that one you can't get to normally, I don't think. I mean, it's probably possible, I just don't know how. You just grab the other chicken, which has run away by now. That jerk. Oh my god, I got stuck on the back. There we go. I actually didn't know that could happen until now. Um, the other two chickens are just across the town, so I'm going to speed it up and just show you where they are. And the last one is at the very beginning of the town, the entrance, I guess. Um, once you get all the chickens in the coop, I guess, you can talk to the lady and she will give you a bottle. As I have said before. And now we're going to go into the Skulltula house, where the family of cursed people are becoming uncursed, I guess. Hopefully, we'll help them all, even though it's not really worth it in the end. I guess the amount of pride when you get a hundred is worth it, because a repeating ruby, or a rejuvenating ruby, doesn't seem worth it. I mean, there's enough money in this game. After get in the adult wallet, head back up to the very top of the village and equip the letter, Zaldo's letter, and show it to the guard. And... Skip. I can do that again. I am cool.
Death Mountain Trail. Uh, pretty straightforward. Some enemies could dodge. You can kill them if you want. Um, they're really not that hard. Probably not worth killing. Might just take longer to get to where you want. Inside Goron City. What you want to do first is jump down into the middle and get the main part over with. Um, stand on in, on the mat in front of a cool door and play Zelda Lullaby and it will open. Unless you're not standing on the mat, then you just played it for no reason. When it opens, you want to talk to the guy inside named Darunia, I guess. Darunia. Um, he'll talk to you and be mad and depressed, and once it's over, you want to take out your ocarina and play Saria's song, and he will start to dance. I will spare you of that. You can just only have to watch it once. He ends up giving you a Goron's bracelet, which now you can pick up those bomb flowers. And it makes this a lot easier. Take a Deku stick and light it on fire and light all the torches on the lowest level. This will start up a little quest um, where we get a heart piece later, but that's after the dungeon. It's just starting it now. And then if you want, you can blow up the bombs on the wall, because that will open up the shop. There's really nothing to buy in the shop, unless you want to buy a potion, because you do have one empty bottle. After that, we're going to head to the second floor, where we're going to open up the path from here to the Lost Woods. All you need to do is just grab the bomb and drop it anywhere near the rocks. You can probably just pick it up and drop it. And you can leave. I'm just showing you what happens. Fun. Um, after that, you can just head to the top. It's not a very complex cave sort of thing, much like a lot of the areas in this game, except dungeons, which are incredibly hard to navigate, but, you know, just head outside, and over to the right, where, you see that bomb flower, just chuck it over the edge, and you should get a different camera view, and it should explode everything, and there's the entrance to the the Dodongo Cavern. I just crawl up this tiny cliff and jump off, holding forward so I don't die. And this will probably conclude segment five. Yeah, this will conclude segment five. Thank you for watching.